This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 286, How to Create Your Own Superpower, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com, and I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Monday. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. I cover fitness, nutrition, stress management, weight management, and lots more, just like an audiobook, but from a bunch of different authors. And then on Fridays, I answer your questions right here on the show. Now, today happens to be my birthday, so Justin picked a shorter article for us today, and one featuring a topic I love, superheroes. Before I get to it, a big thank you to Talkspace for sponsoring today's episode. Talkspace is the online therapy company that makes having a therapist convenient, affordable, and confidential. For a special offer just for listening to this show, come by Talkspace.com slash OHD. Today's Monday. I have to start this week off right with an inspirational quote. Today's quote actually comes from one of my favorite bands growing up, MXPX. And as you'll soon hear, I think it fits in perfectly with today's topic. Quote, You are your own secret weapon. It's all up to you to come out swinging. It's all up to you. Mike Herrera, MXPX. And with that, let's jump right in, get to today's post, and start optimizing your life. How to Create Your Own Superpower by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. The Avengers, Justice League. These groups of superheroes fight crime, defeat evildoers, and kick ass all over the galaxy. Each team is composed of men and women who are the absolute best at what they do. They work together, build off each other's strengths, compensate for each other's weaknesses, and help when help is needed. Teamwork rules. If you run into the Avengers, or if you're a bad guy and trying to avoid them, you can expect, one, technical mastery from Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, two, incredible strength from Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk, three, an otherworldly kicking via lightning and hammer from the mighty Thor, and four, muscular strength and endurance from the patriotic Captain America. You'll find similar stories with the Justice League, Superman, Batman, The Flash, Aquaman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, and so on. Sure, individually, each superhero is incredibly impressive. However, each person becomes stronger when combined with the unique skills and abilities of his or her superhero colleagues. The Flash is lightning fast, but there might be times where he needs help from Batman and his gadgets, or Superman and his power of flight to save the day. As the saying goes, the whole can often be greater than the sum of its parts. Guys in tights and capes are no different. I've rambled on about superheroes for a few paragraphs now. What for? Because I have a simple question for you. What are you bringing to the table? I want to know what your superpower is. Are you the guy or girl who loves to run and can get others to join? Are you a weightlifting fanatic who gladly dishes out advice on how to get stronger at squats and deadlifts? Maybe you're a hell of a cook and your friends always look forward to your next meal together. Maybe you're not in the best shape but your powers of persuasion, or guilt tripping, are so strong that you can organize a fun run at work or a weekend hike to the mountains at a moment's notice. Or are you the lazy guy who shows up late to everything, eats poorly, and complains about not having enough time? In the past, I've talked about how to become a superhero in four easy steps, but today you get to decide what your superpower is and how it can be used to improve the lives of those around you. As Olmec says in Legends of the Hidden Temple, Yes, I just referenced a 15-year-old Nickelodeon TV show. Quote, the choice is yours and yours alone, end quote. Maybe you haven't quite figured out your superpower yet. Luckily, we live in a world where anything is possible, so you can decide what you want to have as a superpower and then go get it. You can even make up your own epic destiny as to how you got that power. My story. I wanted to become the go-to nerd for fitness, diet, and travel advice. Sure, I didn't study fitness in school and I never had been out of North America, but that didn't mean I couldn't acquire these skills and get really good at them. Batman and Iron Man weren't born with any superpowers either. They had to learn and create to become superheroes. That's not bad company to be part of. Once your power is decided. Do you have your superpower decided? Do you know what you want your special ability to be? Good, now use it. Get better at it. Read books, spend time on forums, test yourself, and increase your abilities. Want to know what the best and fastest way to increase your knowledge and power in a particular skill is? Teach somebody else to do it. 
I started Nerd Fitness with just a passion for fitness and not a lot of knowledge. As the days, weeks, months, and years went on, I took readers' questions and did my best to learn everything I could about the subject they wanted to learn about. Whether it was barefoot running, the paleo diet, diet soda, parkour, or not sucking at working out, I soaked up as much info as possible from multiple sources and then presented it to the class. I'm still not an expert, but I know more than most and can teach those that are less knowledgeable than me. I've learned that my passion for helping people with fitness and wellness is equaled only by my desire to learn more about fitness and wellness. I've become a sponge for knowledge. Shut up, being a sponge can be a cool superpower. You just listened to the post titled How to Create Your Own Superpower by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. A very big thanks again to our sponsor for today's episode, Talkspace. Talkspace actually helps find the right therapist for you. An experienced, licensed therapist is handpicked for you by the company, and that's for as little as $32 a week. You can then send your therapist text, audio, and video messages whenever you want, or even do a live video chat. You can talk about work, family, stress, what your superpower is, pretty much anything that's on your mind. Your therapist is ready to help. Plus, you don't have to drive to an office and wait in the lobby, which is a huge bonus. To sign up or to learn more, come by Talkspace.com slash OHD. We have a special code just for listeners of this show. If you use the code OHD, you'll get $30 off your first month, and it'll help show your support for this podcast. You can get started pretty quickly. Again, just come by Talkspace.com slash OHD and use the code OHD to get $30 off. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, I have no idea what my superpower is, I don't know where to start, yes, I listened, yes, I'm inspired, but I don't really know what to do next, chances are you actually already have a superpower, you just haven't realized it. I'm willing to bet that when you have some free time, you're already researching things that you're passionate about. You're sitting there on your phone, playing around, In your mind, you're thinking you're playing around, but you're actually doing research on stuff that you like. Maybe it's recipes. You're thinking about what you're gonna cook for dinner tonight. Maybe it is looking up the next workout that you're gonna do or finding other podcasts that you really like to listen to. Whatever it is, that's something that's interesting to you. So maybe it's just a matter of focusing your attention on one or two of those topics and trying to become an expert on it. The one thing I will say is if you try and become an expert, Yes, I'm a big fan of getting a formal education in it. It's something that many people will look favorably upon, including employers. But look at different sources. Look for reputable sources when you're out there and try and keep an open mind. It's okay if your mind gets changed as you're doing research. That's a good thing. But again, I'm willing to bet that you already have a passion and you just need to tap into that, focus it a little bit more, and that could be your superpower. Before I sign off, I want to thank you again for being here and listening every day. I hope you're having a great start to your week. I'll be back here tomorrow where we hear from regular contributor JC Dean and where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift, as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us, and remember, your optimal life awaits.